Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, I will almost bet you guys anything going into the Super Bowl, leading into the Super Bowl, that the NFL has probably already issued a gag order telling media members and people of the media do not ask Patrick Mahomes anything concerning those old tweets about what he said about George Zimmerman. This is a topic that the NFL is going to try to keep under wraps because they don't want no distractions going into the Super They don't want no controversy. But they feel that Patrick Mahomes is in the Super Bowl and they figure like, damn, uh, well, we got a dude that's semi-black in the Super Bowl. So, you know, though Patrick Mahomes has a black father, I don't think he has a black mentality if you catch my drift. But I don't want to go deep into that. But I guarantee you that they've already issued a gag order basically threatening anybody that brings up that George Zimmerman shit and concerning the tweets, I guarantee you they told them they're going to be banned forever. It's just certain things that the NFL going to put a lock and key under and they're going to be like, nah, uh-uh. Nah, not this. Not today. So, I expect them to place a gag order. It's going to be sort of similar to the whole LeBron James and Deontay West and his mama where basically the NBA basically told the media they better not talk about that or they was going to lose their press credentials permanently. Because the NFL got that kind of pool. I guarantee you that Roger Goodell is sending out memos, letters to anybody that's applying for credentials. Do not ask Patrick Mahomes about that George Zimmerman. Don't bring it up. Don't talk about it. Or you're going to be banned. I'm keeping it 100. I know how this works. Because like I said, I believe they did that with Deon De Delonte West. And the so-called rumor about him and LeBron James mama. Everybody knew about it. I mean, we was talking about it in the streets and shit. And, it, you know, it was good. You know what I'm saying? Cooler talk. Locker room talk. You know what I'm saying? Basketball court talk. Everybody knew about it. But I guarantee you. I guarantee you. David Stern threatened the media and said, don't nobody bring that up. I promise you. So I'm telling you right now. I promise you that Roger Goodell then issued a gag order warning anybody if they bring that shit up that they going to be permanently banned. And you know they going to comply because nobody don't want to lose their press credentials not to be able to cover an NFL game. So I guarantee you they going to I guarantee you they going to comply. I guarantee you they like, yeah, yeah, we ain't going to bring that up. How much you want to be? They ain't talked about it on, on the major media outlets now. So you know they ain't finna talk about it during Super Bowl. If anybody asks them, it's going to be some dude that's just there to do a one and done. Somebody that's like, <laughs> you know, that's just going to be like, fuck it. I'm going for the gusto, so I'm going to bring it up. But it ain't going to be no ABC, no people like that, no NBC, no ESPN, Fox. They ain't, they ain't about to do that. Because they don't want to lose their media credentials. So I promise you that nobody's going to talk about that. I'm almost certain that nobody is going to ask him about it. If if they do, hey, I'll be surprised and I'll come on here and say, hey, I was wrong. But they're not going to bring it up because they haven't brought it up thus far. And if they do, they're going to try to say, well, you know, uh, what do you think about the so, you know, this certain tweet that they're going to talk in code? They ain't going to exactly say what it is. They'll try to, you know, get it under, you know, get it underway, get it swept under the rug as quick as possible. So, no, I don't see them bringing up the George Zimmerman tweets with Patrick Mahone because they want the Super Bowl to go smooth. They don't want no controversy because the NFL got enough controversy surrounded it because people still haven't forgot what happened with Colin Kaepernick because they still reeling from that debacle, from that fake, fake tryout. So, 
you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.